Usually when we do some sort of behind the scenes on this channel, it's me shooting, you're watching me shoot, you're behind the scenes on one of my shoots. Um, but in today's video, I was lucky enough to shadow one of the photographers that was actually in my 21 film photographers to watch in 2021. So if you don't already know the work of Alex, um, I'm gonna, you know, flash it up on the screen. I'm also gonna link him in the description because he's an amazing photographer. He shoots most of his work on film and it's very like high fashion, very editorial, um, kind of like portraits, fashion photography. So during one of my recent trips home, I was able to shadow him at Shutterhouse Studios in North London. I'm gonna link them in the description as well because they are an amazing space, an amazing studio that if you're London based or gonna be traveling to London, you should definitely check out. And I'm also gonna link the whole team that was involved in the shoot from the amazing model to the stylist, to the makeup artist. Everyone is gonna be linked in the description for you to check out because Honestly, they did an amazing job. But it was so good to be able to see the way that Alex goes about his shoots, um, especially shooting with film in the studio, his use of lighting, his use of um, fashion, and you know how he uses the styling and the, the props within his work. And you know I learned a lot, and I hope that you guys will also learn a lot. Of course, a massive thank you to Alex for inviting me through and for letting me film all of this so that I can you know, show you guys. But I won't say much more, I will get straight into the BTS and let Alex explain the shoot. Can you tell me what your shoot is like? Yeah, so today we're doing a fashion shoot uh, test slash editorial to be determined, um, working with Phoebe, Tilly. Um, I've worked with Tilly a bunch. She's a fantastic makeup artist, Phoebe, a fantastic model. Kiara, great stylist, working with her for the first time today. Um, yeah, excited to see how this, you know, turns out. Yes, yeah, so should grab it. <laughs> Shooting on this guy, the Mamiya RB67. Um, yeah, I got this camera. I've had this for like two years now, um, and I've really fallen in love with it. It's really bare bones compared to the RZ, all manual, but um, I absolutely love working with the camera. The results you can get on it are fantastic and um, you just have a lot more depth and detail with the medium format style uh, negatives. Uh, there are downsides, but I also shoot on this camera right here, which is the EOS 3 um, with the 24 by 70 millimeter on it. These are not the right ways to hold these cameras, and I hope no one gets upset about that, but yeah. <laughs> so then I was like, the other day, I was just a bit higher. Let's see. Very makeshift here. Okay. Just because this makes me shorter, so then I can be at eye level. Yeah. That's nice. Just get you in focus there. Yep. Chin up just a tiny bit. Perfect. Bring the chin up just a bit again. That's nice, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Maybe something like that. Let's see. Perfect. Chin down a little bit. That's it. Be okay. Nice. That's great. Turn up a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, okay, let me grab the other camera. Perfect. Beautiful, chin up a bit, like that, perfect. Very, very nice, yep. That's very nice, yes. Great stuff. Yeah, so we're doing a 70s themed shoot uh, with, at the moment there's a yellow kind of color palette, but basically I was looking at some vintage Vogue covers from the 70s, 60s, and these are the kind of moves we're trying to get. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing here today. Okay. Nice. Sweet. All right. Let us try, let's try something like this. 
You got the, just right, oh, yeah. right on the, very, very nice. Bring the hand just a bit, yep, that's it, perfect. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. Okay. Now shift a bit towards me. Yep. And one more time, yeah. Yeah. Turn up a little bit, right there, yeah. Okay. Try and separate the fingers, let's see how that looks. That's good, yeah, yeah. Chin down a bit. Nice. Okay, and back forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Same thing? Uh, let's try it on this one as well, yeah. Separated or together? Together, yeah. Be yeah. Bring the chin up a bit. Towards me though? Right there, yeah, that's it, perfect. Let's try this one right here. I don't know if it works with the dress, but you can kind of pull a little bit yeah, and create some, and just shock, like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not as dramatic, but yeah, like, a little bit, it'd probably look better when you do it. Overhead. That's good, okay. Yeah, awesome. That's really good, yes. Bring the chin up a little bit, yeah. Back this way, yeah. Down a little bit. Perfect, that's it. Awesome, yeah, great, 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 great. Very nice. Now maybe legs a bit more kind of split and you're leaning forward a little bit more attitude, yep. Uh, back, back, I like the back, yep. Nice, that's good. Uh, down, maybe one on the hip. Yeah, that's it. Just a little bit more light there. This guy comes down a bit. Yeah, that we'll start with that, and then with something like this guy right here. Yeah. Awesome. And three, two, one. I'm gonna double check, make sure I'm exposing properly. 250, 5.6, yeah, okay. Okay, just there. Yeah, great. Kind of, they almost have like a greenish tint on them. It's weird how Polaroid, because of the weather you shoot it in, it changes its color. Oh, is that because of the weather? Yeah. So if you shoot it in, yeah, it's the the way it's exposed to the cold or the heat that it changes the the actual tint of the film. So if you have Polaroid in really hot, then it will look summery and orange. If it's cold, it'll be blue or like purple. Sweet. Okay. Um, should we maybe think? I'm trying to think. Is there anything else we should get? So, yeah, that's good. Hold on, I'll, I'll give you some direction as well. So yeah, you've got that arm. Looks good, yeah. We'll try it on the Polaroid first anyways. Is this thing fires? There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta hit it a couple times. Okay, that's one. I always argue with people because I tell them you gotta put it in darkness and they're like, no, you shake it in the light. You don't shake it. Darkness. You don't shake it. That's the worst thing you can do with it the Polaroid. <laughs> That's nice, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Chin down just a tiny bit. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Three, two, one. Okay. Cool. Now let's try on this camera. That's great. Yeah. Beautiful. That's nice. I'll take a couple on digital. I 
didn't really take any backups. Beautiful. Oh, that's, that looks really good, actually. That light's super nice. That's great. Let's see. Um, should we try... Can you do that? Something like that. I don't want to copy it exactly, but... Um, more of a frontal, yeah. <laughs> and if you're actually kind of looking towards the light, so it's like, you ever see the Renaissance painting where they're just like looking into, the, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's great. What was that? Oh, yeah, okay, you're looking good, perfect. One more. Amazing. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, I might try a Polaroid like that as well. Um, that's fine, yeah. And you're just looking, yeah. Beautiful. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay. And back on again. Three, two, one. Um, usually between, uh, I'll say anywhere between four to ten, uh, depends on how many looks uh, and you know who the client is. If it's a paid project, it could be more. Uh, the most I've ever shot on a shoot was 20 rolls. Um, but yeah, I try to avoid that. Okay. Sweet. Um, let's try maybe some standing ones with this outfit. Looking good. I'm gonna let this develop for a little bit longer. Um, okay. So good. They love it. I wish our like era had some sort of like fuck your hair thing that we could do. You could do it. You just bring it back. Yeah, how did they do it back in the day? Did they do it themselves? They took, yeah, they took that long getting ready. All they gave to the hairdressers, didn't they? It was such a bigger thing. Gotta do it. <laughs> Being a photographer, more than just one thing. That's nice. Bring the hip in even more, a little bit exaggerated, yeah? See, that's it. That's nice. Just kind of looking a little bit that way. Yeah, perfect. That's great. Yeah, yeah, go for it. You know what? When it was, it was when we took the. Yeah. Walk a bit. Okay. Nice. Okay. Three, two, one. Nice. You. Very nice. Move back a bit. Okay, a couple of digital ones. Hmm. Maybe if I give you something to like, I kind of want to get like your head, like kind of just right underneath it, centered, leaning against it almost. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that, because then I can frame that like right over your head. Could look cool. Like that. Yeah. Let's see. That's nice, yeah. Let me put the light on you though. Okay, let's try a Polaroid. Is this exposed? Yes, it is. Almost, almost ruined my film there. This is the one I wanted. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that one's nice. Nice, and another. It is high maintenance, isn't it? To how do you think it's going so far? It's good, yeah. We're a little bit behind schedule, but um, other than that, going really well. Um, just finished, we're almost done with the second look, so we'll hopefully get in one more look uh, before time expires on the studio and everyone has to go home. But yeah, so far so good.
Or like, I think we'd be cool to maybe do one that's a bit more monotone. Because um, the hats are just like, yeah. Very white, okay, so. Maybe like classic white. I do wanna, I, I would like to do one more colorful look, but then that squeeze that in at the very end, so. Yeah, that's nice, okay. But with that hat, what yeah. I was thinking was basically. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that then. Yeah. If you move forward just a tiny bit, I'm gonna move back and get the full dress. That's great. Awesome. Very, very nice. Surprisingly, it all works well. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's it's so bizarre looking that Because the colors, the colors are so, yeah. It's like grungy 70s. Yeah. Perfect. Three, two, one. Okay. Perfect. That's nice. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's see. I'm actually. Oh. That's nice, yeah. Try maybe, yeah. Oh, I gotta adjust this guy though. Yeah, so uh, we're basically all done. Uh, great shoot today. Big love to the team. Um, thank you to everyone for showing up. And yeah, really excited to develop these photos in the coming days. And yeah, we'll see how they all turn out. Thank you.